Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, I am back from St. Pete's Beach in Florida. Uh, we had a fantastic vacation with the family. It was a good 10 days off. Um, I miss it, but I'm glad to be back home. Um, glad to be back with the dogs. Um, it sucked. I miss them. So went to pick them up the next day and they were super excited to see me. Um, such love from your furry animals. I love it. Um, so a few things I want to say, a few things I got to show you. It's been a long time since I've done a video, even though you guys have been watching videos while I was gone. Um, you got to see some resin videos, the ocean piece with the sculpted panel, uh, composition, no, not a composition, a compilation, sorry, of some of my favorite blue pieces. So all those videos I created before I left, that way you guys had something to watch while I was away. All right, so before I say anything else, I wanted to show you guys, because you never got to see the dried results of my painting when I did, uh, when I used my client from, or one of our students from Naples, Florida, used her colors as an inspiration. So here it is. I don't think I showed you the dried results. I'm pretty sure I didn't show you. No, I didn't show you the dried results. But look at all the shimmer. It's insane. I love this piece. Now, when it gets resin on it, it's going to be even more amazing. So here is the dried results. It is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. All right, next thing, don't forget, I am selling 2023 calendars. So if you are interested in a calendar, here I'll show you guys May. All right, so if you are interested in a calendar, you can email me. Calendars are $50 Canadian plus shipping. All right, and you get 12 beautiful prints so that when the calendar year is over, you can actually use these prints and frame them or do whatever you want with them. So calendars are available if you are interested. While in Florida, I spent most of my time on the beach, relaxing, getting a tan, <laughs> um, but I also collected shells from the beach. So I've got these uh, Ziploc bags with some cute, super cute shells that I found while walking along the beach. Um, but I think they call these cat's claws or cat's paws. I, I don't even know. Um, but look how cute these are. So I plan on using, look at this one. This one's nice. Look at this. Oh, shell just fell out of that. Oh, there's another something else. Nope, not. But look at this. How cool is this? Yep, found that on the beach. And like all, all kinds of cute little shells. So I'm going to, um, oh, this one's really cute too. Look at this. Yeah, super cute. So I found a lot of shells on the beach. So I have another bag here of shells. And oh, this one I found on the beach. It's got a hole in it, but that's okay because I can cover it with another shell. But I want, look how big that is. And it's so perfect aside from that hole in the center. Um, but again, I can cover it with like a cute little sand dollar or a starfish or something else. Because um, I did go to a store called The Shell Shop in St. Pete's. And when I tell you they have every shell imaginable in the store, it's insane. So I got these cute little starfish and um, some of these super cute shells here. These are from the store. But you guys all saw my last video where I did the dry flower in the casting resin. So I'm going to use that mold again. Uh, at some point in the future. And I wanna put some of those shells in there and do like an ocean theme. Now, if you did watch my last video, you would have heard me say that I was doing a different project and it didn't work out and I had to use up all that deep casting resin because I didn't wanna waste it. Well, something I never showed you is the failed project when I had put my flower in it was too big to put in that square mold from Loli Veffy, so I couldn't use it. 
but I didn't want to waste the flour. So I actually just propped it up with some popsicle sticks and on a cup and I was able to let the resin dry. And I never showed this to you guys, but look at this, hard as a rock. And it is my hydrangea flower. That is what I had put initially put in my failed mold that I was trying. And this was too big to put in the square mold. And I didn't want to throw it out and I wanted to see what would happen. And it looks perfect. The colors didn't change at all. Like, look at that. And so it dried perfectly with the resin on it. And I have this hard um, hydrangea flower now as a design. Isn't that cute? Like that. And then I just put it up here for decoration. How cool is that? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to show you guys. All right. Um, let me see what else. Oh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, most of you have heard Tammy Anderson and I are heading to Charlotte, North Carolina in February. That would be the 18th and 19th of February. And we have some exciting new news. Tammy and I have talked about it and we have decided to add different classes, different techniques that you guys can learn um, during these uh, two days in Charlotte, North Carolina. So you can learn, um, you're going to learn the Dutch pour from me, but you'll get to learn how to do a Dutch pour on a white base, on a black base, or on a color split base. So you'll do black and white. So different classes have different courses. So let's say, for example, Saturday morning, I'll be teaching uh, a white Dutch pour, pour base. But then the Saturday evening class, I'm going to be doing a black Dutch pour. Why do I keep saying boar? Dutch pour base. It's like a tongue twister. Black base Dutch pour. And then on the other day, I might do, I'll do the color split. So there's four classes all together. Each class is separate. So it's not an all day Saturday class. It's a Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. And Tammy's going to be teaching on in one of those four classes, there's going to be a swipe technique. Another class is going to be the bloom technique. And then in one class, she's going to be teaching resin. That's right, guys. We have added resin into the curriculum. So she is going to be teaching an ocean themed resin piece as well. She will be doing a demo on how to top coat one of your acrylic paintings. So she will be doing a demo on that as well. So if you want information or would like to register and join us, you must email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. We will then send you the info and then you'll be able to see what classes offer what techniques and then you can sign up for the class that you want. Please note that classes are selling out, um, especially the resin class. We are super excited to add these new techniques and um, different classes that to be offered for North Carolina. So if you are interested, don't delay, sign up, register, email us for all the information. All right. That is February 2023 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, some of you may have noticed I'm not uh, releasing videos anymore every three days. I have decided to change up my schedule with YouTube. Um, so I am now only going to be releasing videos every Wednesdays and every Sundays. So Wednesdays and Sundays are the only two days I'm going to be releasing videos on YouTube. Um, life is getting really busy. Kids are gonna be going back to school soon. So it's really hectic for me. So I'm cutting it down a little bit. So just keep in mind Wednesdays and Sundays. Uh, that's all I'm going to say for the intro. I know it's a long intro. I apologize, but I've been away for almost two weeks. So I had a lot to say. I'm going to bring you guys down. I'm going to show you guys a super awesome kit that I received from Loli Vefi while I was gone. And I'm going to show you guys the goodies. So it's another collaboration kit I'm doing with Loli Vefi where you're going to get a ton of product for a great deal, plus save an extra 10% off. So I'm going to bring you guys down and that way I can show you guys the unboxing of the products. And I'll tell you guys what's uh, included in the box and the price and all of that. I'm going to get myself set up and I'll be right back. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. So before we get started to painting, I wanted to show you what I received from Loli Vefi. This is a kit that is available for purchase on the Loli Vefi website. And it is a collaboration kit that we are doing together. And let me show you some of the cool products that you would be getting in this kit. So first and foremost, the biggest item is going to be um, these molds. Now, what's so cool about these molds, I will show you. Maybe I should have taken them out of the plastic first. <laughs> All right. Look, they are holographic. I don't know if I can get the right angle. Okay, there. Do you kind of see that there? So these are holographic molds, okay? And they are ridiculously good quality. Now, I know they sell these on Amazon and stuff like that, but believe me when I tell you, they are not the same quality. All right, so there is the one mold. And then this one has a bit of a different pattern to it. I really should have taken these out. There we go. That in the garbage. All right, so this one, let's see if I can get the pattern for you. Well, let's see here. Uh, oh, can you, did you see that down there? It's got like the rainbow. There you go. Can you see that? So that is, oh, there we go. See the bottom corner there? There you go. That's what I wanted to show you. Look at that. So this one's kind of got like a, a starburst pattern. So these, oh, there it is. There it is. I figured it out. I'll show you guys the other one. So these are going to be super cool when you put resin in them. Here, let's see this one. See if I get the same effect. Oh, there it is. How cool is that? I love this. I cannot wait to play with these and try. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll tell, actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute. So you get the two molds, okay? You get these super cool silicone measuring cups, okay? And they have, they even have the measurements on them. How cute are these? And you get five of them. One, two, three, yep, five of those, okay? And you get five plastic stir sticks so that you can mix in here, all right? Then you get these little extra bonus sticks. They're kind of like mini popsicle sticks. Look at this. So, oops, I'm like showing it up here. Down here, Canela. So you get these as a bonus, okay? And then you get your gold. There goes my elastic. You get the gold and silver metallic markers and I swear by these. These are my favorite markers. I've tried Craftsmart, Sharpie markers, um, Krylon markers, you name it. I've tried all the markers that like Michael sells and nothing beats these. The color on these is spectacular. Then, last but not least, you will get a Loli Vefi scraper. And I know it doesn't look like much, but it is a silicone mat, all rolled up into a perfect little rectangular ball, or not ball, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, you get a silicone mat as well. It's actually big too, right? So that is what you get. I'm not even gonna bother to pull that back up. That's what you get in the kit. Now the kit is a regular, I believe $109, and you can now get it for $75. That is a 30% discount, okay? You can get that, plus, yes, there's also a plus, you can save an extra 10% off using my code Canela10. So now it is 40% off, okay? So head on over to the website, there's only 45 kits, that's it. 45 kits, once they sell out, that is it. There is no more, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm doing a Dutch pour for you guys today, but um, I'm not releasing this video that you're watching until Wednesday, it is now Monday. I'm going to do one of these after I do my Dutch pour. 
and then it'll dry by tomorrow and I'll be able to unmold it and show you guys the dried results at the end of this video. So I'm not gonna do a tutorial on it. I'm just gonna try out the mold so that you guys can see what these holographic molds look like when you do a set of coasters in it. So stick around to the very end of the video and I'll show you guys results of one of these coaster molds, okay? Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm gonna bring my canvas back in and we're finally gonna get started on today's pour. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I am ready to go here. I did forget to show you guys one thing. It's not part of the Loli Veffy sale kit, but I did wanna show you two other things I got from Loli Veffy that you can buy separately as well. I forgot to show you. See, I have so many things to talk about and show you that I just forget everything. There is this super cute seahorse mold, okay? So you have to buy this separately. It's not part of the kit that I just showed you. But if you go on the website and you're buying the kit, you might as well buy a few other things because I'm telling you these things are gonna sell out. I'm gonna do um, this as well and I'm gonna try out the mold and do this as well. So there's this cute seahorse and this one's huge. This massive um, mermaid look at this mermaid okay so there's my hand there's my hand all right there's the top of my wrist so it's this huge block of mermaid so you can actually fill just the mermaid in and do the mold or you can fill the whole thing in and then she pops out like a square or a rectangular piece so there's this mermaid mold as well so i'm telling you if you happen to go on the website and you're buying that kit and you want to get these, get them all together because these will sell out. Once I do a video on these, it happens all the time. Every time I do a video and I show you guys new products, then people go to the website a couple of days later and guess what? They're all sold out. So get them before I do a video. And then when I do a video, you already have the mold at home and you can get started on the piece you want to do. So check those out as well. Okay. Can we start the video now? Can we start painting now? Let's start painting. Today's video, this is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And today's video is inspired by another one of my students from Naples, Florida. And I was supposed to check my comment section and remember the name and I didn't do that. And so I forgot. So I'm going to put her name down here. Um, so thank you for the inspiration and I'm going to tell you guys the colors that she used. I did add one extra. I tweaked it just a bit. So let's start off with the base. Base color is my Amsterdam Titanium White. That is what I'm using for my base. I actually have it mixed up in here uh, in this bottle. This was actually a lemonade, Tropicana lemonade or whatever. And I save these bottles. Save these big bottles if you have them because I literally fill it with my paint, water, and flow trial mix in here. And I always have enough paint to do a few canvases where I don't have to constantly mix base paint every time I want to do a video. So here is my Titanium White by Amsterdam. And as I mentioned, all my paints are mixed with water and flow trial. If you want to know the ratios for how I mix my paints for different brands, um, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching and want to know how I mix my paints. All right, base paint. Now, the colors we are using today are Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. I'm so out of touch that I just realized I didn't even get my hair dryer. I haven't painted in about two and a half weeks, guys. So I feel like I'm forgetting things. All right, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. Now this I added in. Um, this is a made up color, which is actually Turquoise Green by Amsterdam with Titanium White by Amsterdam. So that's what this color is. And I call it Tiffany Blue because it reminds me of Tiffany, um, you know, the jewelry thingy. So I made that color up a long time ago and I had extra and I threw it in a Loli Veffy bottle. So that's what that color is. Next color I'm going to use is Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. Now, my student had used um, Naples Yellow Red Light for hers, but I didn't have that. So I use this and they're literally the exact same color. Like they're almost identical in color. So I used Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. 
Then we have Payne's Gray by Pebeo. Now, did, I'm thinking, yeah, Payne's Gray, I think it was Payne's Gray by Pebeo. Then we have Iridescent Silver by Pebeo, and then topping it off, Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. So those are the colors. So it's more of a turquoisey kind of theme. And then of course, using the flower hair dryer, which you can find in the US at Walmart and stuff like that. Okay, I feel like I've been talking for hours. I'm sorry if I'm talking your ear off, but there's just so much to say. All right, colors are back in order. I'm going to flood my canvas and I shall be right back. everybody ready to go before I forget I didn't show you guys what my students painting looked like so I'm gonna put it up right here this was her painting from our Naples class and so this is what I'm going to try and replicate um, also speaking of classes I also forgot to mention I have one spot left in my home workshop here in London Ontario here in my home studio the workshop is September 10th. I have one spot left for anyone who would like to join me uh, and the other students, and I'll be teaching you guys how to do the Dutch pour here in my home studio. So if anyone is interested, one spot left September 10th, okay? Email me, canalaseraco at gmail.com if you would like to attend. All right, so let's stick to my simple design since it is uh, such a small canvas. And I really love this Tiffany turquoise color. Since this was a turquoisey color palette-ish, I guess you could say, I really wanted to put this color in there. I really love this color. All right, so much to do uh, since I've been home. I feel like I've fallen behind with my clients, commissions, you know, kids are going back to school soon. I know in Florida, kids have already gone back to school, uh, which is crazy, but my kids go back to school in about two weeks, actually two weeks today, now that I think about it. Yes, two weeks today they go back. So lots to do. We got back to school shopping to do and we did some of that in Florida. They got new backpacks and some new things, new running shoes, stuff like that. But uh, there's a lot to do. Lots to do and I feel like there's not enough time to do it. Anyone else feel like that about life? And then you get all stressed out. I hate it. I'm a stress ball. Naturally, I'm a stress ball. That's just me. All right, lots of paint on here, but such beautiful colors. I cannot wait to blow this out. Let's pop the air bubbles. All right, bubbles are popped. Got my hair dryer. You know what I do, always start in the middle, and then I'm gonna blow towards my negative space down here and work my way out. Let's get started. Wow, 
Okay, so this color palette is so soft. It's not bold, it's not rich, it's not vibrant, but it's super delicate. I think that's the word, delicate and soft. And I love it. I love these colors. And holy moly, look at all the cells that are popping up in here. And you know what? Because the um, titanium buff light was so um, more down towards the bottom layers, I'm actually really happy that it showed up. There's some here, here, there's a strip of it in here. So I'm glad I didn't lose it. Oh, there's some right there too. I'm glad I didn't lose it in the blowout. So pretty. I love it. It's so delicate. I really like it. Now I do think, I do think that I had a little too much white base on the canvas. And this that's the problem when I'm not used to pouring out of my smaller bottles because I poured out of this big jug. So maybe for future, I'm gonna pour it in my cup and then use my cup to, you know, put down my base. Because when I, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was, uh, it was sped up, but when I was pouring out of this, it's so full and so heavy that a lot of it poured out um, quickly. So for future, I'm probably just going to use a cup to do my base. Oh, I love this. I'm not, there's, I'm not touching anything. Nothing I want to touch. Nope. That's perfect. That's beautiful. I'm hoping this stays on here and doesn't fall over because I kind of like it. Um, hopefully that stays. I'm, I'm not touching it. It's been a while since I've done a painting where I haven't needed to adjust or blow or fix anything. Wow. These colors are gorgeous. I'm going to touch up my edges. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys a close up. All right, everybody, before I show you guys the close up, don't forget to take your stick and scrape those drips. Do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then do it a fourth time. That is going to be such a beautiful, um, oh my gosh, my brain's not working. Um, when that dries, it's going to be really pretty. I don't know why I can't think of the word. Oh my goodness. A skin, a paint skin. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've had enough. Let me show you guys the close up. Look how pretty these blues are. I really, really like this. Now, what do we have in shimmer? We've got the Pebeo iridescent and the Pebeo, the iridescent blue green and the Pebeo iridescent silver. So there should be some definite shimmer in this piece when it dries. I love that cluster there. I really love this piece. Such pretty colors. All right, let's check it out with the lights off. All right, I've got the flash on. So let's check out. Yeah, there's definitely shimmer in there. Look at the edge there. Whoa, pretty. So my student, Liz, now that I remember her name, sorry, Liz, I was supposed to check that before I started the whole video. Um, Liz is the one who chose these fantastic colors. Whoa, look at that. She chose these fantastic colors in her class at Naples. So thank you so much, Liz, for sharing your color palette. I love that. So pretty. Well done, Liz. I hope I did you proud. Look at that. Lots of shimmer. Lots and lots of shimmer for sure. And there you have it, everybody. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. As I mentioned, it is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. If you are interested in this piece, you can purchase it by emailing me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Don't forget, if you want to purchase the Loli Vefi kit, check out the Loli Vefi website, save an extra 10% off uh, your molds or your kit using code Canela10. Don't forget if you want to check out the Seahorse and the Mermaid kit as well. Um, and stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show you guys a quick um, close-up of the, the finished results of trying out one of those 
holographic molds. So stay tuned to the end. So for now, that is it for me. If you are new watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, check out the description below the video. There's always lots of information there, lots of discount codes, Loli Vefi, Crystal Resin, Arteza discounts, all kinds of discounts are listed in the description below, okay? So that is it for me for now. Uh, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye. All right, everybody, really quick here at the end of the video, I wanted to show you guys the results from pouring into these molds from Loli Vefi. So what I decided to do is pour just black in this one and then just clear, and then I added some uh, sparkles uh, from, or glitter from uh, Glitter Babes. So I used my Crystal Resin Black Pigment Paste to do this one, as well as the Seahorse, which I dusted with my Chameleon Powders from Let's Resin. And you can get a discount on these. Check the description below for a discount. You can get a discount on Crystal Resin, and of course your discount on Loli Vefi. I'm gonna do this guy last. So let's start with these and see how these turned out. Now, I, there it is. I've got to find the right light. There's the holographic. So those turned out super cool. Let's see what else. Now these are obviously all going to be the same. How cool is that? These in the sunlight will shine so well. I should take them out in the sun and see what they look like. So that's the same for all of these, obviously. They're so cool. Look at that. Okay, and then I had a little leftover, so I did this little center guy. Super cute. So that's that mold. Now let's check out what it looks like with clear resin. Now I don't know. Oh, look at that. It's like a diamond. I love it. That's really cool. So what I did was I just put um, resin with the glitter and I just did the edge and then I poured clear resin right in the middle just to fill it up. And that's what you get. Wow, that's really neat. I love these molds. Super cool. Wow. Well, you get the idea. All four are the same. Very cool. All right, take these out. Wow, they turned out perfectly. And not a single bubble. Not one bubble. I want to, and there's a little heart here. So I didn't put any anything in that. Let's see if we can see anything in this. Yes, no, me. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, it's so cute. There is. It is actually holographic. Look at that. I have to catch the right light. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's check this out. This I'm excited about. I can't wait to see what this looks like. And of course, you have to use black resin if you want the pigments to really show. And then you just take some rubbing alcohol and clean the edges and it's good as new. I gotta look at it first before I show you guys. <laughs> look how pretty that is. That is super cute. Super duper cute. And there you have it. So if you want to purchase the kit that I showed you at the beginning of the video, don't forget, head on to Loli Vefi. There's only 45 kits available. You are saving 30% off the kit and you can save the extra 10% off using code Canela10. So get them while they last um, and that's it. So if anyone is interested in this seahorse or the coasters, they are available for purchase. If you'd like to purchase them, you can email me at canelosiraco at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on Sunday. Take care. Bye.